Do you want to be a smart football player? Cool. Then here are six things that only the smartest players in the game do that you should totally also implement in your game. Football is full of clever players, and we've all seen some insanely smart plays over the years. Guti's heel assist, Brozovic lying on the ground behind the wall, and Trent Alexander-Arnold's corner kick. But there are also some more common things that you should learn that smart players use to get the upper hand with some simple, but very effective moves. Now, one of the most prominent things that really smart players do is to look for moments where they can catch the opposition off guard. And one of those very opportune moments would be right after the opposition has conceded a free kick. Ah, like that. But what you can do here is look to take a quick free kick. Because instead of rolling around on the floor asking for the ref to give the opposition team a yellow card, you want to take a quick free kick, which can be really, really deadly and catch the other team on the back foot. So, instead of crying around on the floor, you act quick, you look up, you see if the opposition is arguing amongst themselves or not paying attention, and maybe your teammate is in a good position. So just make sure the ball is lying still, because otherwise the ref won't allow it, and then you just stand up and you pass the ball into empty space. And if your teammate also is a smart player with high awareness, you're gonna have created a chance out of nothing and make a very, very deadly situation. Now, the second thing you want to do is actually quite simple, but also really clever, and often you'll see that the clever things are pretty simple. Now, it is to shield the ball out. Let's assume that the opponent touched the ball last and it's rolling towards the goal line. What you wanna do is you wanna shield it out. Because instead of reaching it first, trying to control the ball, play your way out of it, you just want to shield it out. It's your ball. You're going to get a goal kick or a throw in or maybe even a corner kick if it's the opposite end. And that's a lot safer and thus a lot smarter than trying to be the hero, come down, control the ball, make a step over and you might risk losing it, creating a very dangerous chance or maybe you get to touch it last and it rolls out, you can see the corner kick out of nothing. Just shield it out. Just come, come, Phil. Just shield the ball out. Use your muscles. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's out. That's clever. But if you touch the ball last, of course you're not going to shield it out and give away a free throw in or corner kick. That would just be stupid. Instead, if you get to the ball first, of course you control it, try and keep it in play. But when you've done that, you might actually find that you're stuck in a corner with the opponent coming in to press you. You might have backup behind him. So playing out from the back can be a little bit dangerous. What do you do? Well, you can, of course, just boot the ball into row set, give away a throw in and reorganize with the rest of the team. But the clever players realize that there is another option, Phil, and that is to actually let him come close. And then you simply just kick the ball into him. So you get the throw in or the corner kick or the goal kick. Now, of course, this also carries a little bit of a risk because if I try to shoot the ball into Philip and it actually hits me on the way out, then he's going to get the throw in or the corner kick. So just keep it in mind, try and get the angle that you hit the opponent with right so it goes out of play without touching him. But to be honest, you don't actually have to touch the ball to play smart because you can simply let it roll through your legs or past you and actually save a lot of time. Because smart players realize that the ball travels pretty quickly. So instead of getting the pass, controlling it and then turning, well, if you look over your shoulder, you see that you have space in behind you to run into. You can simply just let the ball run through your legs, then turn and then you're off. But you can actually also use this ball through your legs tunnel move to make a Luka Modric special. Now, basically, if you have a pass coming in and you know that there's a teammate behind you, you got the pass coming, but instead of controlling it, you just let it go. Then you go into empty space and you get the ball because then you actually manage to go around the opponent, let's call him Jeff, my name is Jeff, without touching the ball. And that, my friends, is proper 300 IQ on the pitch. Now, what's also pretty clever is that you can actually try and avoid 50-50 situations or tackles by making a little lift over the opponent's 
outstretched leg. Because instead of flying into tackles, which is very, very risky, smart players realize that if you get to the ball first, you can simply make a cheeky little lift over the opponent's outstretched leg. Or if it's a really close duel, you're both very close to the ball, you can simply stretch out your leg and just toe poke it past him before he gets to the ball. Because if you get to the ball first, you get it out of the way, he might clean you out, but the most important thing is that you get to the ball first because either you beat the man and get it with you or you win a free kick. The last thing you'll see really clever players do is that they understand the pace and the direction the game is going in. So if it's a really frantic Wild West game out there, just attack after attack after attack. The clever players, they get on the ball, they distribute it really well and let their team regain its shape to give a sense of calmness and being in control over the opponents. So if it is full carnage out there, demand the ball, get the ball, just look up, pass it backwards, tell your teammates, to calm down, focus, and take a chill pill. Because you're the boss, you're the clever one. You control the play. Maestro. That's you. Yep. Woo. So there you have them, my friends. Six things that only the smartest players do on the pitch, and which you can actually also relatively easily implement in your own game. And I don't know if you noticed, but the one thing that all of these six things have in common is awareness. 99 awareness, because you need to be aware of the spaces and the positioning of your teammates and the opponents for this to work. Because without 99, or at least very high awareness, you might not be able to see these opportunities around the pitch. And let's say you just do these things to look smart. Well, without the situation calling for it, that's gonna be kind of dumb, really. So use them wisely. Now what's also wise is to go to unisportstore.com, get the latest gear, get the latest boots by clicking the link right over there. You can of course also go subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you want to improve even further as a footballer, there's a playlist right down there that you should totally go and watch. And with that said, I'm signing off, cheerio.